Hey guys, welcome to reading one star trip advice reviews. This time I'm getting the gameplay right and I'm actually putting images on the screen so it's more enjoyable basically and less cringy. So this first review com we're coming in here uh, seems to have been reviewed on the 7th of March 2013 and is called This Is Not An Attraction. So I'm guessing this is at a theme park or something and this dude is just complaining. I will be very on PC here, but I must say this is not an attraction. Well, what does the term on PC mean? Hold on. Political correctness? What? So he's saying he's not going to be politically correct. Okay, okay. This is a bridge making your travel time shorter in Mumbai. I can't, of course, see why someone has listed it here. Because Mumbai has so very, very few things for a tourist to see. But that doesn't change the fact that this is just a bridge. One of hundreds in the world, and not a very pretty one either. So, what, did he go to a bridge? Like, a bridge. Well, why would you go to a bridge if you, like, knew it was going to be that? Oh, and the bridge is not finished yet. As many has run out and about a quarter of it, one way is still missing. So you'll see large, unattractive machinery sitting right there in front of your eyes. Uh, in front of your eyes. So, what you're telling me is that you went to visit a bridge and then proceeded to leave a one star review. Bro, if you're gonna go on holiday, right, even if you go into somewhere like Mumbai where you state that there's not very many tourist attractions. Why would you go to a bridge in a first place if you know it's a bridge? Like, I guess if he doesn't know it's a bridge, well, it, uh, it, it, it's a bridge. Okay, right, this next one is called Very Steep and Too High. I don't know what to say about this one. After going up Mount Snowden by train in Wales, I'd forgotten just how high some mountains can get. And they don't come much higher than this one. That's for sure. LOL. This was almost a full day's climbing. And my girlfriend was crying at one point. It, it's a mountain. What do you expect? Bro, it, it's not going to be a little hill that you find in a playground. When we did get to the top, there was nothing there. Mount Snowden has a pub, restaurant, and toilets at the top. Luckily, we have brought some sandwiches and drinks. So anyone else climbing this one, be warned. There are no facilities at the top. You just listed some facilities. What are you on about? You just said that it has a pub, restaurant, and toilets. And then you say that there are no facilities. Bro, it's a mountain. What do you expect? Alright? There's not going to be an entire village on the very top of a mountain. The climb basically went on for far too long and the last part was particularly steep and difficult. It was also cloudy at the top, so the view was not ex- It's a mountain, dude! The long walk back down was boring and again took too long. It was a great relief to get back to our B&B in Fort William for a hot soapy bath and the joys of a flushing toilet with soft toilet rolls. This attraction is free, but I honestly couldn't imagine anyone, and I mean anyone, paying to climb this. Bro, it's a mountain. What do you expect? It is a literal mountain. It's not a walk in a park. Alright? That one just got me very triggered.
Nah, that, that one was really dumb though. Alright, so this one's label is probably the worst hotel in Liverpool. So... I don't know if this dude is living close by. But by the looks of it, I don't think he was. So, upon checking, I was asked for £25 deposit on top of the room charge. I was also told if I smoked in the room, I would be charged £178. I mean, like, there are charges for not, for like, smoking and stuff. That's, that's normal. But £25 deposit? I, I don't know. Uh, that, that's a bit fishy. So, this was within the first two minutes of checking in. I expressed my dissatisfaction of this ridiculous deposit, but nevertheless, I paid it. No, okay, okay. I, I don't, you know, I guess if you've literally paid it, then that's kind of scummy, actually, what they've done. Here comes the fun part, the room. I went to room 208. No help with my suitcases at all. I mean, like, not everyone's going to help you out with your suitcases. I mean, you have to pay a little extra. The room had curtains that only drew 40% across the window, so you could be sleeping with streetlight and neighbours peering in at you. I, I'm, I'm speechless. Plus the 6am sunrise would come in on top of you. And I got sunrise. It's not the sun's fault. Then the bed. Or the excuse of a bed. It was the worst mattress I have ever lay on. It was like a paper towel. The room was freezing. No heating, rubbish bed, no curtains, and cold. That's it. I'm checking out. I mean, like... Don't check out, just complain that your room's trash and then try to get your move to another room. Okay, curtains I can imagine, but you know, not every hotel can afford to have these like awesome beds. Although the deposit kind of would make it so that you would need to. Then when I leave, they charge my room a second time despite me not giving any authoritative decision to do so. I will be informing my bank tomorrow. The hotel is beached my contractual right and then illegally access my credit card for unauthorized transaction. Stay away from this place, folks. For an extra 17 euros, you could stay in a best western down the road, a real hotel. Stay at October 2016, travel on business. Well, isn't that a fat F? Uh, you know what? To be honest, the last one sounds the most believable. The first one, it, it's a bridge. That was your own decision. And the second one's just just ridiculous. So yeah, that's been me reading One Star Trip Advisor Reviews. Hope you guys enjoyed. Do not share this with your friends. Please.